Step into the heart of Padre Pio's personal turmoil as we unveil the shocking departure of his sister Graziella from the convent. Stay tuned to hear the story. Welcome back to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio. If you're new to our channel, Padre Pio was a Capuchin friar, mystic, and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint, and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member, or a friend. And now to our story. Today's story is sourced from the book Padre Pio, A Man, A Saint by Angelo Maria Michitelli. In this book, we find a story about one of Padre Pio's sisters, Graziella Forgione. Like Padre Pio, she too felt a calling to religious life. However, imagine this, she decided to abandon her convent after 47 years. But let's start from the beginning. Padre Pio was closely involved in his sister's acceptance into the Brigidine Sisterhood. In fact, he was the one who wrote a letter to the convent in January 1917 when Graziella was 22 years old, requesting her admission. The mother superior, now known as Saint Mary Elizabeth Hasselblad, responded by welcoming Graziella to the novitiate. Furthermore, Padre Pio even accompanied his sister to the Bridgeton convent. They traveled together to Rome by train, and Graziella was given the name Sister Pia del Adolorata. So as you can see, Padre Pio played a vital role in his sister's religious life. However, years later, in 1964, Graziella and Padre Pio had a very difficult conversation. You see, Graziella expressed her desire to leave the religious life. We learn about this from the testimony given by their niece, Pia Penelli, who was the daughter of their brother Michel. Pia Pinelli says that after their conversation, both Padre Pio and Graziella felt unwell. Now, we don't know for sure what was troubling Graziella. Perhaps it was her living conditions, or maybe there were some other issues involved. Regardless, Padre Pio advised her not to forsake her calling and urged her to address the issues with the mother superior. However, his counsel fell on deaf ears. In the spring of 1965, just one year after their conversation, Graziella left the convent at the age of 71, along with another religious sister. Despite her clear vocation to religious life, Graziella could no longer endure the convent in which she had spent 47 years of her life. Learning of his sister's departure, Padre Pio felt devastated, not out of concern for his own reputation, but out of deep concern for his sister's soul. Padre Pio begged Graziella to return to her convent, or to at least try to join a different convent. However, she remained resolute in her decision not to return. So, for the time being, they found a place for her to stay. It is said that during this time of uncertainty regarding Graziella's future, Padre Pio felt a constant headache. He described it as if a needle pierced his head. But thankfully, this torment did not last too long. Padre Pio's brothers, the Capuchin friars, took initiative and contacted their friends in Rome. And in the beginning of 1966, Graziella was welcomed into the religious order of the Sisters of Mercy. Upon receiving the news that his sister was now cared for, thanks to Father Clemente, the apostolic administrator, Padre Pio expressed his relief and emotion. Finally, the nightmare that deeply troubled Padre Pio came to an end. End of story. I'd like to take a moment to thank the members of our Protected Children of Padre Pio program, for your continued financial help and support. You make these videos possible for everyone. We thank you from our heart. May Our Lady and Padre Pio reward you abundantly. If you're not yet a member of this special program, why not join now? Members have special spiritual as well as material benefits. Just click the link in the description below to find out more. Thank you for listening. 
please do like and share this video to help our channel grow. And please give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Potter Peel stories or our playlist of Potter Peel thoughts for the day. And don't forget to enroll your mass intentions for next Friday's Potter Peel Holy Mass. You'll find the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Potter Peel.